I call this poem The Goddess of Folly. Ulysses on his odyssey brought him in contact with some very strange creatures such as Cyclops, the one-eyed titan. Homer's concept of war was ambiguously. We also have Homer's epic poem, the, what is it? Iliad. Iliad, the poem of force. The goddess of folly, A.T.E., played no small part in the fate of the hero. Um, Odysseus. Odysseus, not to mention A.T.E.S. bringing about the downfall of the great, great, Greek hero of the Trojan War, uh, uh, Achilles. Achilles. Heel. Achilles. Achilles. That was, that was lousy. <laughs> <laughs> I should practice on that. <laughs> okay, this one here is a uh, has been published. It's called "Writing Keeps My Demons Away." I once met a man who wrote one poem every day. It didn't really matter if the poems were good, bad, or indifferent. The poet was only concerned with writing. He knew that he must write every day. I wonder if poets are really sane. There, there seems to be an edge of madness about them. Something is driving them to write. The poet that I had met was more than willing to talk to me about his work. I asked him why he wrote every day. Wasn't it a waste of his time? The poet looked me straight in the eye and replied, No, sir, it's not a waste of my time. For you see, the writing helps to keep my demons away. Great wisdom. The sound of one hand clapping. The Buddha uh, nature. Wait a minute. Oh, if I could freeze time. If I could freeze time in a bottle, you and I could have this moment forever. This would be Separative in my heart and soul. If this could only be our fate, we would be as one until the end of time. All of this could be ours if I could just freeze time in a bottle. I think that's enough. Superlative. Superlative. Su superlative. Superlative. <laughs> 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 Say it. Superlative. Superlative. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>